I appreciate cha the challenging the notion that you put someone in and then magically, you know, it'll get to be their turn and, and that's all we have to do is sit back. It is much more, you know, from what I've, in my short time in politics, uh, pipeline and this idea of moving on to different positions or growing in, in your political stature has to be about much more than personal ambition, particularly for elected officials of color, particularly for women of color, because your success and your um, ability to be seen as a credible leader depends not just on your own desire to be that leader, but your ability to, to demonstrate legislative success policy-wise and your ability to demonstrate uh, political growth, both of which require navigating these traditional institutions that often are not designed uh, for newcomers or folks who look different from the mold to succeed in. So as we're thinking about that narrative of pipeline and how you both get in the funnel in the first place but then, but then um, move towards success within this world, I think we also have to really keep in mind that elected officials of color, women of color, have to not only navigate within these institutions, but have to be, be comfortable reshaping them. Mm -hmm. Because our approach, our perspectives are often so different from our backgrounds to begin with that we're starting, we're introducing either new, new content or, or um, at least helping prioritize issues differently. And that in, you know, in turn, leads to a different model of how you govern, mm -hmm. how you um, work with other people, what types of policies and for whom you're talking, uh, you're introducing policies.